Hey guys, it's Sarah here from Easy Love, and I'm in a beautiful region of the world called the Yucatan Peninsula, specifically in a resort called Azulik. And it's another sustainable resort that incorporates all sorts of wonderful measures of sustainability, as well as being incredibly romantic and beautiful, which is ironic because I'm here with my two girlfriends and my videographer. <laughs> But we've enjoyed our stay immensely, and I'd love to take you through some of the highlights of what this place is all about and why it's so special and why it really leaves you with a sense of just magic and wonder and really picks up on the Mayan tradition and the culture that is so special about this region. We spent last night in Playa del Carmen, getting a little lost, a little tipsy, and a little aggressive on the dance floor, actually. Jean is basically a professional dancer, so one can expect some nice moves from her. And none of us are exactly wallflowers, but Caleb, my videographer, is basically owning the dance floor. Kids got style. So the next morning we retired, and more than ready to head down the coast to let the wonder of Tulum, famous for its beautiful beaches, ancient Mayan ruins, bohemian hotels and sustainable lifestyle take us away. Upon arriving at Azulik, it felt like a jungle wonderland, and we were greeted with a traditional Mayan cleansing ceremony. That's my serenity face. I think Jean is laughing at my serenity face, and that's about the fourth time Emily's popped her eyes open to see what's going on. We'll get better at Mayan ceremony, I promise. My name is Juan Sebastián and uh, I'm the system manager here at the Zulik Hotel. This idea of reconnection and um, you know, getting in touch with nature is that we respect nature. And the way that we respect nature is by really not cutting any, any trees or anything to make our, you know, to, to build the resort. Um, if you go to like, there is an Ote bar right now, like there's trees all over. Like we didn't have a place to put the kitchen. Like there was a tree right there and another tree right there. So we had to like make the kitchen a little bit smaller and, and shift it to one side so we could like fit it in there. Uh, all our paths, they are all like um, elevated. So that allowed us to not cut anything and also get a, like a unique view of the place because you have all the palm trees right here. And, and uh, right now we don't have any coconuts ready, but like once they're ready, like be able to just pass by and just grab the coconut. Once Sebastian offered us all a Temescal treatment, another ancient Mayan ceremony led by a shaman, who will place in the middle of us huge fiery boulders, the abuelas, who use water and steam to purge your fears, open your heart, and stoke the fire in your soul. The water used at Azulik comes from the sacred waters of the cenotes, underground rivers for which the Riviera Maya is famous. These waters are considered healing, incredibly rich with minerals, and leave your skin soft and supple. The cenote gray water from the sinks and showers is then funneled down into a filtration system of rocks and plants, and then piped out into an irrigation system that waters plants throughout the property with the recycled water that then carries more minerals from the earth as it filters back down into the underground cenotes. All the fixtures, tiles, and furnishings are purchased from local artisans. In fact, the soap holder is made from a coconut. All the furniture is constructed on site and made with local, sustainably grown lumber. When night falls, the soft glow of candlelight is the only light you'll see. This is because the Riviera Maya receives four out of 10 different species of all the turtles in the world to its beaches to lay their eggs. The light of the moon guides them to the sea, but if they turn the wrong way and follow the lights of many of the resorts along the coast, they will not survive. This, along with poaching, is the reason that many of them are endangered. We try to create that environment to really uh, facilitate people getting connected. Connection with, with the partner, with others, with nature, and with oneself.
the reason why 